So in today's video, I'll be discussing the top prospects for the New York Knicks to consider selecting with their projected lottery pick in the 2022 NBA Draft. And New York is currently projected to have the 11th pick this year, but they could move up with a 10% chance to move into the top 4. And the main positions that are really good in this year's draft are the wings. And there are some very interesting forwards as well. But now with all that said, let's get into Knicks prospect number 1. So the first prospect that the Knicks should consider selecting with their pick in this year's draft would be Wisconsin's guard Johnny Davis. So last season, Johnny Davis averaged about 20 points for Wisconsin as well as 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal and a block per game. And this is all while shooting about 43% from the field, 31% from 3 point range and 80% from the free throw line. But the 3 point shot definitely needs to improve for Davis but I'm confident that he'll be able to do so as a legitimate scorer. And in the previous season, Johnny Davis averaged about 39% from 3 point range so that's not bad but he just has to keep improving. And at only 20 years old and 6 foot 5, Johnny Davis has legitimate potential into becoming a star player in this league. And that is because he's clearly continuing to develop into a 3 level scorer. And he's also a really good defender already. And he has a strong body so I'm pretty confident that Johnny Davis will be a really good player in the NBA. And in terms of where his draft stock is at right now, he's currently projected to be either the 10th or 11th pick in this year's draft. So there's a good chance that he is available at number 11 for the New York Knicks. And if the Knicks move up into the top 4 in this year's draft, they could trade it down to the 10th or 11th pick and get future draft capital as well. And with that pick, they would later select Johnny Davis, but in terms of his fit with the Knicks, I'm sure Tom Thibodeau would love him. But the only problem is that as a shooting guard, the Knicks have many of those type of players like Quentin Grimes and Evan Fournier. So unless the Knicks do trade Evan Fournier this offseason as well as players like Alec Burks, then I would see it as a fit. But in terms of the player prospect of Johnny Davis, I'm definitely intrigued as a Knicks fan. And with that being said, let's get into prospect number 2 for New York. So the second prospect that the Knicks should consider selecting in this year's draft would be G League Ignite guard Dyson Daniels. And last season for the Ignite team, Dyson Daniels averaged about 11.5 points per game as well as 6 rebounds and 4.5 assists per game and on the defensive end he averaged 2 steals and 1 block. And at only 19 years old and 6'6", six six, Dyson Daniels has legitimate upside as a player that could be someone like Josh Giddy or LaMelo Ball. And all three of them are point guards that are tall and can pass the ball extremely well and can rebound at a high level. And arguably Dyson Daniels is a better player on defense than both of those other two players. And Dyson Daniels shot around 45% from the field as well as 26% from the 3 point range which is something that he definitely needs to improve on in his game and also he shot 74% from the free throw line. So other than his shooting, Daniels is really good in all other aspects of his game and he's also very versatile on both ends of the court. And because of his hustle type of defense, he would get good minutes on the Knicks with Tom Thibodeau as the coach. And in terms of where he'd fit with the team, the Knicks definitely need a point guard and he could play alongside Emmanuel quickly at the backcourt. And I'm sure that he's a better overall prospect than Miles McBride because he's much taller than him and plays the same position and is a better passer. And that is exactly what the Knicks need with court vision and ball movement. So I think he'd be a great fit with New York long term assuming that they move on from veterans such as Kemba Walker, possibly Derrick Rose but for sure Alec Burks. And with his draft stock right now I think he would be available with the 10th or 11th pick in the draft. But he could actually go higher than that because of the way that Josh Giddy did with the Oklahoma City Thunder with the 6th pick. And now with all that out of the way, let's get into the 3rd and final prospect. So the final prospect that the Knicks should really consider selecting in this year's draft would be Shaden Sharp out of Kentucky. So the only way to get Shaden Sharp in this year's draft would be either the Knicks trade up with the 11th pick to pick number 5 or 6 or if they actually get lucky in the next week's NBA draft lottery. And this is because Shaden Sharp could very well be the prize of this year's draft along with Jabari Smith and Chet Holmgren. And right now he's currently projected to go with the 5th or 6th pick but he could actually go even higher than that with pick number 3 or 4. 
It just really depends on which teams are picking around that range. And Sharp is a 6'5 shooting guard that can handle the ball and create his own shot at a high level and he's a 3 level scorer as well. And he was the number 1 ranked high school basketball player at one point coming into college. And the only problem with him is that he did not play college basketball and scouts say that his motor is not good enough right now. And they're saying that he's not playing at 100% effort every game and he's not consistent with it. But at only 18 years old, with these workout videos, he looks like he's already very polished on offense. And he looks like a very natural 3 level scorer. And he's also very versatile on both ends of the court as he's long at 6 foot 5. And if the Knicks actually end up with a top 4 pick in this year's draft lottery coming in a week, I would be very happy with this selection. As Sharp has all the potential to be a bona fide superstar in this league. And other realistic prospects with the 11th pick would include guys like Jeremy Sohan, Tari Eason, and Benedict Matherin. And of course, if the Knicks do actually end up moving into the top 4 in this year's draft, I do have them considering Jaden Ivey out of Purdue as well. So with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more New York Knicks draft videos like these on prospects, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and it's been KNYT here and I'm out. Peace.